the eighties was just that was kind of the thing is like if you had a fun enough premise and you could fucking make it, you know. Dude, how hard I've made, uh, and we did we talk? We may have talked about it on this show actually before the the Teen Wolf scene. I mean, that's the best thing of all time when he's trying to tell Styles, yeah, that he's a werewolf. You don't remember this? And he goes, "Hey, he goes uh, to Styles. I got to tell you something. This is the '80s." Styles, I gotta tell you something, buddy. I, and he goes, I know what you're doing. You're not gonna tell me you're a fag, are you? Yeah. I couldn't deal with it if you're gonna tell me you're a fag. And then he goes, No, is that Styles? Um, is that the, a fag? Goes, is that in the garage? I'm a wolf. <laughs> like it's much easier to tell him you're a werewolf. Was it in the garage? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. He goes, You're not gonna tell me you're a fag. Michael J. Fox goes, No, Styles, Come I'm on. not a fag. He made it so much easier to tell me he's a wolf. No, I'm not a fag. I'm, I'm a, a wolf. I turn into a bloodthirsty. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a werewolf. No, a I'm sick not a three pointer. No. Give me a keg of beer. Yeah. Great. The dog whistle scene. In these. I was remember um, that. Teen Wolf's great. Teen Wolf 2, not as much. Well, I loved it. Ba- boxing with Jason Bateman. I'm a Bateman guy, but that was not his finest work. Uh, can you bring up a trailer for Teen Wolf 2? Oh, this is it. This yeah, is different emergencies. I'm listening. Styles definitely got herpes. If I'm guessing STDs and movie characters. Yeah, well, I hear you, but if it's that intense, I'll need a solid buzz to think clearly. Well, look, I, I, I wouldn't even, uh, I wouldn't even mention it to you, except that I gotta talk to someone. Wait a minute, are you gonna tell me you're a fag? I mean, if you're gonna tell me you're a fag, I don't think I can handle it. No. Oh. I'm not a fag. I'm a werewolf. <laughs> Like so. it's such easy information to break. How great would it be? No, if, whoa, I'm not a fag. I'm, he, a, I'm a rapist. Yeah, uh, <laughs> oh, no, I'm into children. Yes, <laughs> oh, pedo, man, pedo. Oh, oh that'd be funny if, if he was gay, though, and he goes, you're not going to tell me if I can't deal with it. And he's like, oh, no, it's going to tell you I'm just a werewolf. <laughs> yeah, he goes, no, 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 I'm a werewolf. <laughs> and I guess you don't want to hang around werewolves either. <laughs> and I guess your words are a silver bullet. <laughs> Cause you just shot me in the heart. Hey, footloose time. Oh, uh, uh, why? I, why do you think I want to surf on that van all the time? I want to die, style. <laughs> That's funny. He goes, hey, what are you in for? He goes, well, I was doing the kid and play dance in that goddamn footloose town. Yeah, he goes, no, oh. <laughs> you should talk to Martin over there. He been in here eighty years <laughs> doing the worm. <laughs> he goes, guy pulled out an electric slide. It was an electric slide in an unsanctioned area. Yeah, and uh, he's been he's been so nice. He doesn't do- even know now at this point the inside's his outside. So did I just see you do a shoulder shimmy? <laughs> I was just going over to my tr- my fucking car over there, and I see you do a little shoulder shimmy to that radio. No, no, no. I was uh Watch you get up against the other car. Who should get up oh, against the other car? Come on, man, I don't want I'm... Nah, you won't shimmy on over this hood of this car right now. I, I, live... I will sir, break ow. you. I only live right around here. I live right up the street here. I saw you dancing. <laughs> I saw you dancing. I'm gonna put on some logins. I swear to God, you as much as fucking blink and I'll kill you. <laughs> I clean up these goddamn streets, all these dancing assholes. It's <laughs> <laughs> a paddy wagon full yeah. of fucking I guys, am, guys I am, in unitards. I am the law. <laughs> Judge Dredd. <laughs> I am the law. Hey. Uh, Stop the dancing, queefs. Yeah. Get on over. Uh, um, sh- Matt, Michigan. I'm not even sure what what, what they're talking about here. Uh, Matt, Mich- Matt, you there, buddy? I'm here, guys. What's up? What do you have a you have a story a storyline flaw from an '80s film? Well, it's something that's always bothered me, and uh, maybe not a big deal in the franchise overall. But in Back to the Future, in the first movie, Biff tries to rape Marty's mom. Yeah. And then when Marty returns to present day 1984 or whatever it is, Biff is like cleaning his truck. That's a good like point. Was, oh, like, yeah. You know what? Biff that's a fucking great point, Matt. I've never thought about that. It's like, what, you're just cool with that, Mrs. McFly? Yeah, he goes, every day, yeah, even if he's working on. for it, every day you got to see the face of the man who almost took your innocence. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, hey, Biff, remember when we were 16 and tried to rape me at prom? Anyways. Oh, oh, yeah, Mrs. M. I do remember that. You're not so pissed about that, are you? Sorry. I feel like if I would have got it, things would have been different. <laughs> I feel like if I would have got that sweet pussy, things would have uh, been a little different. Oh, yeah. I couldn't help but think, you know, if you were we're just giving up the puss that day. We'd be in a different position right now. But uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, well, you're a fighter. All right, I'll see you later. 
Yeah, that's a very good point, Matt. I've that never thought about sto- that. That's a bad. That's a storyline flaw for sure. Yeah, she's just friends with her attempted rapist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just. All right. not, by the way, he didn't knock it anywhere. He got. I think. I think he got mouth to mouth. I think he. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he went reached, for the I think he reached, in, reached in and went for a titty, right? Yeah. 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 Good one. Um, that's a great one, Matt. That's Matt in Michigan, everybody. How about Mike in Chicago? Uh, I don't remember this scene. This is one of the 80s movies that I've, one of those I've watched once or twice. Which? Uh, is Pretty in Pink. Mike, you have a problem from, with Pretty in you Pink? Know, yeah, it, it's my, like, my wife's favorite movie, so we have to watch it all the time. Oh my God, still on. currently? <laughs> yeah. She goes, yeah. She just and, cocks uh, a gun and she goes, sit on the couch. She goes, it's she, Pretty in Pink. <laughs> she's 16. <laughs> So, following up on the rape scene from the '80s movies, uh, the, the you know the, the rich, cool guy gives um, his girlfriend the the prom queen or whatever to the nerd and says, "Hey, do whatever you want to her. Just get her home, okay." And then the nerd, you know, takes her to the car park with his other nerd buddies, and they take pic- pictures of him of her, and I guess they have sex while she's passed out drunk. Wait, really? I don't remember that in Pretty in Pink. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, I think I always come before that part. Right. Like, <laughs> you gonna give it away? You gonna give it away? Oh, I'm in it for the rape. Pop. Was uh, totally okay back in those. Wow, uh, John Hughes rape. is all. Let's spice it up. Let's have a little sleepy rape. <laughs> little sleep with a drunk girl. Yeah, is that? Can you look up that scene? Yeah. The pretty in pink. Man, you don't. And is, re- it, is, is it? Is, it's not Molly Ringwald getting tossed around. No, no. This, this is the rich guy's asshole girlfriend who was a real bitch in the movie to Molly Ringwald and everybody else. Oh, is that James Spader? Is yeah, Blaine. No. Blaine, right? Yeah, it was Blaine's girlfriend. This is James Spader's one. Yeah, he pissed at her because she threw the party and wrecked all his shit. And then he so sort of looks at her disdainfully and says, "I'm gonna go, you know, get Molly Ringwald. Hey, you can have her. Just bring her home, if you know what I mean." Oh, that's <laughs> crazy. I do sort of remember that. Now that he says, and yeah. he and he gives her the car, and he gives her the nerd the, uh, his dad's car to do it in. Jesus. It was a calculated rape scene. Yeah, they always did. They, they, you look back at stuff and you're like, that does not age well. Certain shit, when it doesn't age well, you just see it and you're like, woof, what were you guys doing? So far, the two storylines our callers have called in have been about uh, miscues in rape scenes in movies. Yeah. <laughs> that we're well, unaware of it. You know, hey, hey, you guys remember, <laughs> well, you, were, you guys remember the rape in Heathcliff the movie? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, that scene where he's going to eat, but then also he's got that problem with this cartoon owner. What's, did you find the pretty and pink scene? Is it 16 Candles? Oh, uh, maybe you're right. It's one of those two movies. Okay. It's so you said it, you said it's your chick's favorite movie. No, oh, dude, <laughs> so thank yeah. God she didn't. Because I don't pay attention to what this bitch wants to watch. She was yammering <laughs> something with a ginger in her teenage years. Puts on a dumbass movie and whatever. There's no attempted rape in Sixteen Candles. You don't know that. Yeah, I've seen them. Anthony Michael Hall was raping well, a, our ears. There's a bunch of feminist articles saying uh, from Salon and. Jake Ryan is a rapist, but more disturbing things about 16 Candles. So it's been written up. Is this the scene? I'm trying to find the actual video of the scene. Oh, Long Duck Dong. How oh, yeah, the, the unforgivable Long Duck Dong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the movie. That's the movie, yeah. Okay, so that is the movie. Long Duck Dong. And yeah, that's it. They fucking just get her off to... Do you know that movie well, Christine? Does Jacob know I it? I thought I did. I don't I remember the- that. He he says they have. Uh, she said she has sex with Anthony Michael Hall. Well, that's what she tells him. She did have sex with Anthony Michael Hall. Yeah, who? I'm pretty sure we had sex. What you? And him? No, the Anthony <laughs> Michael Hall. <and> the- <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. You fuck Anthony Michael Hall? I go. Where? I was looking for more of a Wyatt from Weird Science guy. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna, also going to go like post SNL or like right when he was on SNL during the boom. <laughs> Anthony and Michael Hall date rape Jake's girlfriend in Sixteen Candles. Perfect. Where is this? We're just covering. We're on, we're doing like some Cosby shit. Just uncovering a bunch of old Look rapes up Sixteen from the 80s. Candles rape. I, the I did. It's not coming up. Oh, really? A disturbing amount of things pop up when you type in, you know, passed out girl. Yeah. <laughs> like, movie. All right. <laughs> passed out girl movie. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, let's take our first break here, and then we'll come back because uh, we're going to talk to Greg in Chicago, who says he's going to correct everything that's been said by all the callers so far. <laughs> okay. Uh, Can't Buy Me right. Love, yeah. a movie I'm very familiar oh, with. I love that, filmed in Tucson, uh, Arizona. Uh, and that was a Seth Green. We got out of homework for a day. And that was... Um, we went to school with Seth Patrick Green. Patrick Dempsey. When he was original. still nerdy, young, yeah. before he became McDreamy. Goddamn right. We'll take our first break. We'll come right back with all your calls and fun from the 80s, everybody. We did find the um, 16 Candles scene. Christine, uh, can you play? Let's see if this we audio... Had a, a lady called in who we didn't... She got disconnected, I guess, but she was saying, arguing, this is not... This is people reading into it, and that is not, in fact, a date rape scene. Well, let's see if it works. Good enough dicking me around. Get Major down to try and get together with this girl and find out she really does think I'm a slime. Jake, when I dick you, I'm put you this way. What happens to me if I dick you? <laughs> Dude, Anthony Michael Hall head. was so great. <laughs> right. So why would I lie? He was, I mean, but yeah. I feel compelled to mention to you, Jake. I mean, if all you want off the girl is a piece of ass, I mean, I'll either do it myself or get someone bigger than me to kick your ass. I mean, not many girls in contemporary American society today would give the run away to help a geek like me. I give a piece of ass anytime I want. Shit, I got Carolyn in the bedroom right now, passed out cold. I violate her 10 different ways if I wanted to. Okay. What are you waiting for? I feel like he's threatening a rape. She's beautiful and she's built and all that. I'm just not interested anymore. Does that really matter, guy? Yeah, it matters. She's totally insensitive. Look what she did to my house. She doesn't know shit about love. I think she cares about his party. I want a serious girlfriend. Somebody I can love. She's going to love me back. Is that psycho? It's beautiful, Jacob. You know, I think a ton of guys feel the same way as you do. Really? I never watched this too long. This is way, I mean, <laughs> good God, John. just really sunk into that. Get I mean, to the rape. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, oh, someone is. raped somebody already? <laughs> you guys silly? I'm still going to send it. <laughs> <laughs> That's that, that will be explained tomorrow on the Lost Tapes episode. Here it is. All right, so she's out in the car. So he's giving her to him. Is this uh, your car, Jake? No, this is my dad's car. You said you couldn't drive a stick. This is a mother... It's a Rolls Royce, Jake. So? 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 I heard the grill alone cost five grand this. Wait, five he's complaining grand. about the car, not the passed grand. out girl? <laughs> he goes, Jake, this is a felony. <laughs> Fuck this girl. I'm going away. She wakes up at the wrong time, buddy. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a sophomore, okay? They try me as an adult. So he's definitely offering, it appears. I mean, he just rate. put her in the car. It's, it, this is hard to defend when he goes. Yeah, it's pretty hard to defend you watch it like this, huh? He goes, I can walk in that bedroom and do whatever I want. Hell, you could. Matter of fact, well, we're going to I think there's several here. movies, though, that play on the idea of a girl being so fucking whacked out of it like the nerd kid can get laid. I think yeah. that happened. Yeah. That comes up in a, oh, in a, Revenge in a of the Nerds. He tricks. Well, her that's in- someone. A John from New York here uh, chimed in with that one. He goes, "The rape scene. The, that is a full blown. Ra- it is fucking a girl with deception. With deception. And then she luckily goes like, oh my god, You're so you all nerds have big fat dicks and fuck like beasts.' And, and he's he goes, like, yes, ah, you know. And she's were- like, oh, now we love nerds. I guess she goes, I don't know. Apparently, if you're a size queen. <laughs> Nerds. 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 Yeah, because he wears the he wears the Darth Vader mask and he walks yeah. her in to the funhouse. And she what well, he actually wears the Darth Vader mask. He takes the mask from her boyfriend. Yeah, and leads her to believe she's fucking her boy. It's insanely <laughs> illegal <laughs> and void of any moral oh, man. backing whatsoever. It's yeah, horrific. That's why the feminists have gone crazy, guys. Yeah, <laughs> lots of just, rape in the eighties. All that eighties rape. I call it the the roaring rapies. Yeah. <laughs> it was interesting what he said though, because he's like, I could violate her any way I want, ten different ways. But it's kind of it's a thing where it's like, I don't know. Twenty seventeen, Jake Ryan says that. You go, whoa, 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 it, what? Christine's <laughs> violated me eight ways this year. Yeah. <laughs> But I, it, it's along the lines of the, something about, like, I've let myself get in that state so many times in my life that I consider myself lucky. Drunk yeah. enough to fuck Anthony Michael Hall? Just drunk enough <laughs> to have anything. Just uh, I mean, I've fucked worse than Anthony and Michael Hall in my Truth. life, believe me. We it. all have. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> He's, he's like, I could, he's almost like disgusted by it, the way he says it, where he's like, I could violate, he's like, she's all fucked up, I could violate her right now, she wouldn't even know. 
Like, he's not necessarily saying he's going to. All right. She's no, he's saying her. he could, but then he's also saying, like, you take her and do whatever you want. Well, that's the scene where we didn't see him We didn't watch again. the whole scene. Where it's like, I don't know if he's just giving her to him to take her home. Or just, as you guys know, this is the unrated Blu-ray, so there's going to be some full <laughs> penetration of this. This, this director's cut. <laughs> oh, is this 16 Candles, the Redux? <laughs> 16 Candles. Oh, no more Yankee, my Winky. Yeah. The Donga need food. <laughs> <laughs> See if you can find the part where he hands him to her, Christine, in this movie. You can backtrack a little bit to say if he says, like, do whatever you want with Wait, right here. Courtney from Connecticut on the phone, which we will take this call. I, said, I, Courtney, I, what do you have here? So, uh, first of all, I cannot believe you guys not have not seen this whole fucking movie. I mean, we I have, oh. but not since 1993. Oh. Watch your mouth, young lady. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing other stuff, like watching Bloodsport. <laughs> come, out, like, come out of the gates hot on that one. She goes, I, first off, you two sissy fucks yeah. need to watch Whoa, that one. damn, Whoa. Court. Yo, Court. She goes, I'll bite you in your fucking eye socket. <laughs> yeah, you fucking dumb dicks. <laughs> yeah, a, you don't think I don't come fucking smash balls right in your mouth. She goes, hold on, real, mommy's making a call. <laughs> You guys are lucky I don't come to that studio and just put fists through your stupid faces. I'm going to wear Jacob like All a right, condom Courtney, and fuck okay. both of you. <laughs> I'm going to wear Jacob like a condom. Uh, Courtney, what, so I don't remember 16 Candles very well. I remember uh, How's It how's it Going, Hot Stuff. I remember that scene. Yeah. yeah, ex- yeah. So you got to see the last scene when he's in the car waking up and he's got the headgear on. And because he doesn't remember having sex with her, and he says, "Did I enjoy it?" And she's like, "Yeah." And he's like, "Did you enjoy it?" She said, "Yeah." So, oh, so they did fuck. Yeah, they totally fuck. So is it? Uh, but is it consensual at the time? Well, was so it like he was too out. He doesn't remember. Well, yeah, don't you remember when they go to the friend's house to get the camera and sneak outside and take a Polaroid of her? Courtney, I told you I come way before this in the uh-huh. movie. I don't know. <laughs> So he's supposed to be hammered right here in the movie. At this part of the movie, Anthony Michael Hall's supposed to be wasted and driving her home. No, not yet. I guess he gets drunk later. Remember how she's in the car and she eats the birth control pill and she's wasted throwing shit around? I think it's like... It's it sounds like Christine Evans' V-log. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember. Um, she's right. She's, the, she's all right? He, Courtney's all right. Anthony so, Michael Hall wants is a photograph with her for the nerds. To, all, that's it. Where she's naked or something? No. Well, he can feel He's still in the such car. an attachment to Anthony Michael. Like, I love <laughs> this movie. He goes, you guys got to really back off. <laughs> Are you also ducky when you watch uh, the other one? Yes, I usually thing? am AMH. Pretty AM, in AM, 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 Pink's H. not my thing. What's that? Pretty in Pink's not his thing, he said. Pretty in Pink's not his thing. No. But um, Anthony Michael Hall gets drunk. I guess later in the So movie. I guess the point of this movie is But him. she's more aware. Him so and she the sort girl. of rapes him. Yeah. Well, she's a party Correct. monster. She tells him all about her. Look her better, I guess. When they're driving, she goes down on him while they're driving. No, you're making that up. I'm totally not. When remember, she goes, "What if I told you my name's Molly Ringwald?" <laughs> <laughs> I watched it 987 times. <laughs> yeah, you. Her head falls in. Her- Sixteen candles. No, I was joking. Yeah. Oh, I'm saying, have you watched it a lot though? To know that I this? have watched it Does a lot. Does she go I'm down surprised? on him? I'm, no, I don't know Just that. I'm surprised to... I don't remember this. Fast forward to the scene. If she, if she well, goes... this is the scene of where the, you wanted to see what yeah, he yeah. says to her, right? Yeah. You sure? Positive. There we go. Oh, so he did. Wait, fast forward. I mean, rewind just a little bit before that because he said that to him and he's like, I can't. All right, there. Ten different ways if I wanted to. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus, H. What are you waiting for? I can't watch the entire oh, movie 16 Candles him. today. But you got to make sure she gets home. You can't leave in some. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit before that because there it was. What are you waiting for? I don't know. She's beautiful and she's built and all that. Oh, uh, we we must have just not interested. Stopped it right it's gotta before. Got to come up like right now. Does that really matter, guys? Yeah, it matters. But that's the thing it's is, totally so if he wakes, if she takes the birth control pill and she blows him on the way, this is consensual. Any girl who takes birth control pills is asking for it all she the time. Like, anyone that goes, you heard it here first. That's what Dan wrote and slid me a note that says, yeah. that. "Start sucking his dick." If a girl even right. takes birth control pills, she go. wants it from anyone. Then why is she taking that if she don't want it? She wants it though from she everybody gives, who's going to give it. She gives Anthony Michael Hall the birth control pill. He doesn't realize. He thinks it's a breath mint. Yeah. And she makes a little joke. This is a non-issue. There is no rape in this. Yeah. All right, Lou's standing up for it. I'm the oldest one in the group and I say no rape. Well, I don't think Courtney called in to say there is. I think Courtney came in to point out that, in fact, Anthony Michael Hall himself was raped mm. by this party monster. <laughs> Correct. There You're, you go. Correct. You're a real soldier. So there was a rape. It's yeah. just not what you were thinking or hoping, Jacob. Well, thank you, Courtney, for solving that. 
Another issue, Cody says that the Warriors has has one. Was the uh Cody, Codes? Cody and PA, I love the Warriors. It, what's the problem with a it? Huge fan of it as well. Hey, uh well, there's one issue that I have, but there's a major plot hole in the movie. The Which is the shocking lack of cabs. What's that? The shocking lack of cabs in New York City. Oh, they that they don't get any cabs. cabs. Stony Island. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, you don't really think about that. There are cabs everywhere, and they're like everywhere. But there's yeah. a black. But it's a blackout, and they're po- and they don't have any money because they also jump the turnstiles every time. And they're supposedly uh, they're also supposedly um, remaking the Warriors. Oh, I hate that. And what are they going to do now with cell phones and cabs? I hate that. <laughs> right? and, and Uber, Uber. Yeah. and you know, Lyft or anything like that that you hey, could possibly use. It's a short film. But like we took an Uber. There, We're good. There was a small little. There was a small another little issue that I had. Uh, whenever they're fighting the uh, guys with the baseball bats. Yeah, the um, baseball okay. furies. Yeah. Yeah, they fought them one on one instead of the guys with the baseball furies fighting them two on two because they got freaking baseball bats. Yeah. So you're saying, wait, you're saying that they fought one on one when they let the other ones have a baseball bat? That was just part yeah, of Yeah, the, the baseball furies had the baseball bats and they were fighting the warriors one on one instead of ganging up and taking them out one at a time. Oh, you said they should have just beat the shit out of all the Warriors they caught with the baseball bats? Yeah, yeah. it wouldn't have been very hard. Yeah, totally. He's right about that. Dude, what if Cody's running the baseball furies? And they go, <laughs> he went to him, he goes, nah, we're just going to fucking go beat shit out of our baseball bats. <laughs> he goes, you know what? You guys uh, really approached that from the wrong. You need some, some war strategy here. He goes, I don't feel like you guys are as vicious as you could be. Like, those guys should not have made it to Coney Island. They, go, they, beat, <laughs> they beat Ajax to death before he tried raping that police officer. On the bench, <laughs> yeah, that's solid. Yeah, it's solid. The lack right. of cabs too. I, lack I, I, of cabs and I, baseball furies have baseball uh, bats. Andy in Canada, I want to, my favorite movies of the eighties. Can't buy me love. He says there's a problem in that. Andy, you there? Buddy, hey, hey buddy. Up, still gonna send that. Still gonna send that. Just gonna send it. Hey Dan. Hey, what's up, bud? Hey, smoked one with you when you were in Winnipeg your last night. You remember? Yes, I do. <laughs> what do you mean, dick? Did you I'm smoke sure, dick I'm in sure Winnipeg? You I suck dick. You sucked Winnipeg. some dick? Is that your uh, code? I was in Winnipeg. <laughs> Old <laughs> Winnipeg goodbye. Oh, I was getting Winnipeg in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what? Should can't buy me love. Can't buy me love should be called can buy me love because he fucking buys that chick. Yeah. He fucking gets with him at the end of the fucking movie, and it's all because he bought her all that shit. He's he would right. never have He's been abs- with her. You know what? He's ever, but you absolutely can buy love. He yeah. bought love. He bought her love. He he paid for all that stuff, all the money he was going to spend on his fucking uh, telescope. Her affection for him is rooted in the fact that he helped her not get in trouble with the mom. Yes. Yes. And she never looked at him twice when he was fucking mowing her lawn. Nope. But then right? he mows her lawn with, like, you know, curlier hair, exactly. and all of a sudden she's fucking, they're going at it missionary right on the goddamn riding mower. Mm-hmm. Never Fuck. felt bad for a kid riding a, lawn, a riding mower anyway. It's yeah, like, you got to push that if shit. If you're a landscaping job and you're on a riding mower, I'd, I'd feel nothing. Yeah, you. it's hard to get in and out of the truck. Maybe you got a trailer. That's kind of tough to drive around. But Barely. You can set up two wood planks and ride it right up into the back of the truck. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's a flaw. You're right. There's so many flaws in it. Any oh, yeah. It out. God, but you can point. buy love. Yeah, that girl was totally purchasable. Who what the, a who whore. The uh, dude, she did almost nothing afterwards. She died. Whoa. Sorry to be a dub yeah. killjoy here, but uh, she is not shit. alive. How do you know that? Did Eddie Vedder write a song for her? He goes, this one right here that goes out to uh, a girl from, <laughs> the girl from Can't Buy Me Love. She just died recently. Oh! You guys want to hear a song? Freeze it! Rest his head on a pillow, baby, concrete. Oh, here I am. That's never not bad. Oh, man. It's called Pearl Jam. You ever see Pearl Jam live? Uh, absolutely, though. Can't buy me love. Yeah, absolutely. How about, uh, I'm excited for this. Uh, Nick in Houston uh, says the film Grease has a problem. I can't. Well, never mind. He fucking hung up. Yeah. Or Black Lou hung up on him. He goes, there are no problems Yo, man, in Greece. no more white, yo, no more white musical talk. <laughs> we got to cut that out. <laughs> yo, enough of that white musical talk, son. Let's get into some black. Yo, someone call and tell me some problems with the Wiz. <laughs> Find one problem in a, a vampire in Brooklyn. Ease on down. What role, motherfucker? Meteor Man is flawless. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar Hill. Uh, no problems. Tell me one thing that's wrong with Juice. 
Oh, I can tell you a bunch of things wrong with Juice for sure. Well, I mean, so many things wrong with Juice. Kills his best friend heartlessly. The second he touches a gun, it makes him so evil he can murder his friend without emotions. <laughs> Tupac. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the movie. He touched a gun and it made him crazy. That's different. That's ridiculous. You ever held a gun?